Hey families, today's excursion is Kunta Kente Island, which used to be James Island, but has been renamed, which is a good thing, uh, an African name, Kunta Kente Island. To get to Kunta Kente Island, we first went to Banjul, and now you can see here, we're going to take the ferry from Banjul over to Bara. Tickets for the ferry cost 25 Delasi per person, and the trip takes about 20 minutes. This is actually a view of the Banjul Market from the ferry, which is taking us across the Gambian River. And if you've seen my video on the capital city of Banjul, you'll recall the Arch 22 at the entrance to the city. And here's a picture of another ferry, which is exactly like the one we're on. So now we are here at Bada. You can see, I'm going to zoom in. And so um, this is the River Gambia. That's why we saw people crossing on canoes. Of course, it feeds into the ocean, but nobody's ooh, nobody's so crazy as to try to take the canoe but you can see the various canoes here so this is definitely a mode of travel across the river gambia there is going to be a mad rush on the ferry you can see the people just gathering already like all those people we saw getting on will now be hurting off And once you get off the ferry in Bara, there's actually a quite long drive from Bara to Jufre, or the village of Albreda, which is where Kunta Kente Island is located. And we can see the fisher boats and everything. And that's the island all the way over there. The main building is where? The main building there. That is where the French trading post used to be. And we're going to take one of these boats over to the island. So the boat ride from the mainland over to the island is actually quite long and our guide was explaining to us that the French were interested in the mainland because that's where they traded salts and bamboo and other things while the English were interested in the river Gambia because that's what they used to transport the Africans who were enslaved over to America and the Caribbean. And over here in this village, my children and I have been given African names. Mine is Binta Kinte. Receive a family of Binta Kinte on the island here with your children. Abaraka. Uh, Abaraka, this is a, a big impress to me. Maybe you won't know, but the way I feel happy today uh, is only me and God, actually. My house is so joyful, to be honest, of visiting you here. Especially when I see a moreover black like me. I don't feel, you are not tourists, you are not here on a visit. 
I do feel you come back to your motherland to see You welcome to the island of Punta Kinte. You can see the island uh, by looking on your own. You will know actually because of the water erosion, the mm -hmm. island is getting smaller and smaller. This oh, okay. is three times bigger than the size we are seeing today. Oh. But because of the water erosion, all these were slave houses around the island here. Now this is where slaves were brought and they will put them here, you see. And behind us, if you look, you see three canals there. That's the entry, that's the door. And the poles you are seeing, the festival I used to tell you here, uh -huh. uh, this is where you will put the Gambia flag. The English flag here. Because Gambia is colonized by English. So here the guide is explaining to us that all of the buildings around the perimeter were slave houses and other things of that nature and all of that portion has eroded and all that's left is the uh, interior and what they would like to do is have some mangrove trees planted around the island. For those of you who watched my videos on Lamb and Lodge, you know that mangrove trees were planted there for the same purpose. So apparently that's a solution that they use in the Gambia for erosion. The brother of Michael Jackson, German, was here. You know, on the sixth of February, she the name to Kunta Kinte Island. Mom, the visit. Oh, he was here uh, for the yes, celebration. Yes, yes. So he's saying that Jermaine Jackson yeah, 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 came yeah, yeah. to the island for the celebration. I think they should start working on the building. The island was all built not with cement, but what they do at that time during the slave, they force our uh, ladies to pound these oyster cells, you know, mm -hmm. when they turn them into mortar and they use salt water to build, do the plastering, you mm -hmm. know, it is more strong than the cement, that's what they used to do with the island here. And so these are ruins of what was these left. Are ruins of the island, how many, how many you know, years, you know, is these five buildings were here 500 years back, and these are very, very strong buildings. They found an empty land in the middle of the river down there and they start transporting the stones from the village with their dinghy boats built a fort on the island here. Yes. They built a fort on the island. But and they, that's primarily because at Baboon or Dog Island exactly. it was unfriendly? Yeah, like a dog island. There used to be a big oval here where they beg their blessing. White people beg their bread to give uh, or feed the slave a bit because if you keep people here, they need to get small food, you know. There's no yes. way to keep them until two weeks here. You see, that's why they have this over here. And mm -hmm. this one, if you look at they're telling you this is a water system because uh, where could they get a water, fresh water here to drink? It's only to get a water from the rainfall water. So these were big tanks at the height of that, you know. It just yes. things were falling down, falling and that's down, why they okay. persist on there, and they yes. were covered with aluminium. So what they do, they get a water from the rainfall. That water they used to give for slaves those water a little bit to keep their throat uh, until they cover their two weeks here. They took them here from here to Gore Island. So only two weeks here. Yeah, they keep them only for two weeks. And so he explained to us that from here they would take them to Gore in Senegal, which I've already done a video on, and then they would take them to Amina Castle in Ghana. And this is uh, you, the shell they have on the island. Oh my God, it's so tiny. I'm telling you, it's so tiny. It's so small. Believe, believe me, this is where they keep 30 strong men. You see, I don't know about this one. You see, you are told so it's gone. they keep about 13 men here. You can't believe, just look how tiny it is. This wow. 13 men has to be pussy. Here. Push 30 here. men. They do everything. Toilet here, everything. 30 they put men. Tight, 30 here. men here. They have to use their bathroom. Their bathroom here and then they... So, 
This one is not as preserved as Gore at all. What did they use this for? They used this as their accommodations. But as the white people's accommodation? White people, yeah, because they need to comfort themselves. Mm. This was a two-story building, so you see, at the time. Uh, there was an explosion here at that gunpowder magazine. That's where they used to keep their ammunition. So, an explosion down here, that's what bring all this damage. So, actually, the governor who first discovered this island in England uh, died here, and he was buried here. He was not taken to England. This is where he was buried. He's still in the ground here. This is where they used at their gunpowder store room and this is where the explosion done you know when the explosion done here then this will bring the damage on the island it, it, here. okay because i was wondering into, why everything yeah. is just in mm -hmm. ruins we didn't still actually repair nothing here so they, mm -hmm. all the community here will come here try to fix some repairments and other things so they use this place as their restaurant here this is the long room they use this was the restaurant yeah, or the restaurant? This was the restaurant they use uh, uh, for white people, not for the black. The black people they throw food for them at that little window there where okay. they sell it. Oh wow. So did they separate the men, women and children? Yeah, they separate men, women and children. <clears throat> Okay. But the women, any time they need a beautiful woman, they can just go to their room and then get a woman. Mm. You know, they leave them here, they do everything with them. Oh. That's depressing. Mm -hmm. Depressing. Yes. And so what he's telling us here is that um, some of the Africans from Banjul, a uh, large number, organized themselves to come over to the island, but they only had bows and arrows. They didn't have um, this sort of gunpowder technology. And the whites merely blasted them with the cannons well, and killed the them all. the 24 gunpowder arrows. Uh, you see, why do you take this arrow uh, to bind it? Because this is where most of them are coming That's why when they see a boat coming here, now they will fire this cannon here. This will stop the attack coming. That's why they put this attack at this point. But they come until they come closer to them, right? And they fire them because they don't come with any arms. All one of them is that time where a cutlass is bow and arrow.